If you will, if you will, 358, 358 in the sacred selection, uh, this song in this book says, when the saved get to heaven. Amen. I want to go and I think I'm going. Amen. I try to obey God and his will. I'm going to say, when we all, all y'all who don't sing, I would that's a song. Go. That's why we're here tonight to make sure everybody knows how to get it. Now we say,
Most holy and wise God, we thank you so much that we gathered here tonight with those of like precious faith to hear another portion of your divine word. We thank you for this great church that the Lord and Father many years of service he's rendered we pray to bless him with many more healthy years upon this earth. And may continue to preach one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. We thank you, Father, for the precious souls already been baptized during this meeting. We pray to be with them, help them to grow to maturity in Christ. We realize even tonight, someone needs to obey the gospel. Yes, Father, we pray for your servant preacher, Brother Jack Evans Jr., a great young preacher, Father, who came a long distance to be with us. <coughs> we pray to crown his head with wisdom, help him to remember those things that he studied. Help us to assure us that the Bible is right. And we need to get our souls right. So we thank you, Father, for being here tonight. We pray for our president and his family. Protect them, dear God, as the election time comes near. We pray that we exercise our right to vote. Realizing foremost and ultimately you will be the one who put the one in the White House you wanted. So help us, Father, to just use that right that we didn't die for so we can get out here and vote. Thank you for Brother Lord, dear God. May you continue to be with him. And bless him with the great work he's done and still doing here in the world. Forgive us all of our sins and we thank you for the sin sacrifice of your son Jesus. We didn't have to left glory and came down here to the sin cursor. Lived, died, was buried, rose again on the third day. And as we take our seat, Father, we pray that we listen attentively to your divine word. May someone walk out tonight and make Jesus their choice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Maxwell, for that very uplifting prayer. We are now coming to the final sermon of this great series. Heaven has been made to rejoice in that four precious souls have been buried in the watery grave of baptism. And we give praise to Almighty God for the increase in the fall. The meeting is not over, and we're trusting tonight, if you hear and grace in this audience, you're not on the Lord's side. Jesus says, except you believe and I'm he, you'll die in your sins. And he said, if you die in your sins, what I am, you cannot come. The Egyptian flight is in the minds of a lot of folk around the world. Plane left radar. They said they found the wreckage. But the Lord said, if you die in your sins, what I am, you cannot come. I would rather die in a bloody automobile accident than to die in my sins. I would rather die in an exploding airplane crash than to die in my sins. The Lord said, if you die in your sins, what I am, you cannot come. And so, I'm urging you tonight to get right with God. Little did those folk know when they got on that Egyptian Airbus that that would be their last time to fly. James put it in this provocative language, what is your life? It is but a vapor. It appears for a little while and it vanishes away. I urge you, don't wait until Sunday. Because you have no assurance that you're going to be around Sunday. And secondly, you have no assurance that there will be a Sunday. All the time you have is right now. And I'm begging you to seize the moment. What a magnificent job the rich man has been doing now. 
Spirit-filled, knowledge-filled, inspirational filled. Amen. Power packed. Amen. Passionately delivered. Dynamic. Yes. Exegetical. Expository. Yeah.
being so kind to us, blessing us to see the sun rise and now to see it set. And I just believe there's no better place to be than in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Come to the last night of this meeting and it's been a wonderful week. I've enjoyed being here. Uh, thank you so much for your hospitality and for the enthusiasm and, and, and all of the compliments when you come by at the door. It does me uh, a lot of good just to hear that you're enjoying uh, the studying of the Word. Uh, I do have to ask you, and I think I asked you this the last time I was here, but I have to ask you, please don't say I'm something else. <laughs>
you with a job, he can take care of you without a job. Matter of fact, he can get more glory out of you when he takes care of you without a job than when you got a job. I heard David say I was young and now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, no, nor his seed begging bread. How is in God Almighty? How is in his Son and in the gospel of Jesus Christ? And tonight, if you're not saved, if you're not a member of the body of Christ, we invite you. We invite you to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Yes, Leave here tonight safe in the hands of an all, a gracious and, and merciful God. Yes. So tonight, I want to call your attention to the 8th chapter of the book of Acts. 8th chapter of the book of Acts. I alluded to uh, this particular block of scripture, eight, uh, Acts chapter 8, verse 35. Meet me there. Uh, but I also want to finish up my notes from last night. I ran out of time and I, I got sidetracked and I didn't get to some things and I want to share just a few things with you from those notes to uh, recap. We were talking last night uh, from the subject I thought uh, we talked about the man Naaman who was a very important man, a military official. He had some money, he had prestige, he had uh, notoriety, he was known, he had people working for him, but he was a leper. He had leprosy and, and he needed some help. And he heard of where he could get some help and he went to get the help. And when he got to the house of Elisha, uh, he stayed at the gate and Elisha stayed in the house and sent word to him go out to the river Jordan uh, and dip seven times and you'll be clean. Naaman got wroth. He got angry and he got on his chariot and drove off in anger, in a fit of rage. And some of the people around him that were more level-headed uh, mm -hmm. spoke to him and asked him if he had asked you to do some great thing, wouldn't you have done it? And so he had a change of mind and came back and obeyed the command that was given by the prophet Elisha. Went to Jordan, dipped seven times. After that seventh time, he came up healed of his lepers. And so we just focus on the phrase that he made, I thought, behold, I thought. Because that same, that same attitude is prevalent today even in our world. People are trying to think their way into glory and think their way into a relationship with the Lord. Yes, sir. Man. And I'm very, I'm very suspect of people who will not listen to direct commands and instructions that come from this book called the Bible. Amen. I contended last night and I still contend that there are those today who say I thought. I thought I could be saved without baptism. And I thought I, I could have Jesus without the church. And I thought I could go to the church of my choice. And there are a lot of churches, my friends. There are a lot of faiths and cults and institutions, etc. All of which are considered as denominations. But there is only one church. We find established in the Bible wherein is salvation. And I know some of our brethren are getting away from preaching the one church, but you're not going to find another one in this book called the Bible. And it's not going to change. As long as the world stands, this book is right. It came from God. And there is but one place, one house of salvation, and it belongs to the Lord. He built it. He bought it and purchased it with his own blood. Amen. Amen. There are many today, many denominations in existence. And I, one night I talked about the fact that there were no denominations in existence oh, wow. when the church started. Amen. Amen. It was 300 plus years before the beginning of what is called Catholicism. Yes, sir. And out of Catholicism came other churches and other churches. That's why the Catholic Church today is called the Mother Church. And it is the Mother Church, but it's not the Lord's Church. It's the Mother Church of denominationalism. There are many today, and they are false if they are not found in the Bible. They are false if they don't have Jesus as the Father. They are false if 
they don't, they, they didn't start in Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah. They are false if it didn't begin in 1833 after the resurrection of Christ on the day of Pentecost. They are false if they don't bear the scriptural distinctive marks that come from the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Something, something, something that the Roman Catholic Church is the right church. It was started by Boniface the Third, Rome, 606. But everything about it is wrong. Wrong time, wrong place, wrong name, wrong founding. Yeah. Due to jealousy between the Bishop of Constantinople and the Bishop of Rome, and because the Roman Church made an addition to the Nicene Creed, uh, the Nicene Creed, the Catholic Church was split in 1054, and this division culminated into the Greek and Roman churches. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because it is not the Lord's house. They claim Peter to be the first pope. That's not so. Peter was a broke gospel preacher who had married and taken a wife. And you don't find anywhere in the New Testament where the Bible says Pope Peter. Pope Peter was never a pope in the Catholic Church. They worship Mary and they make her to be divine. Not so. You won't find that anywhere in the Bible where Mary is to be worshipped. They get together. They got together in 1870 and declared the Pope to be infallible without error. That's not so. No man has the right to try or the authority to, to, to declare any other man without error.
John Wesley. You got the Latter Day Saints, 1830 in America by Joseph Smith. You got Jehovah's Witnesses in 1872 in America by Charles T. Russell. I don't find any of these churches or any of these founders in my
but she read was this. He was led as a sheep to the song. Yeah. And like a lamb that down before his shearer so open, he now his mouth. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away, and who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, uh, I pray thee of whom speaketh the prophet, this of himself or of some other man. He didn't understand. He needed some help. And he was willing to get there. And the wonderful thing I like about God is when you need help, God will send help. Believe yeah. with all thy heart thou mayest, yeah. and he answered. 
answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. And soon, soon as Philip heard that, he commanded the chariots to stand still. And they went down both into deep water. Is that in your mind? Jesus Christ, 
to give my life to Christ and walk in his light. Yeah. And being in Christ has helped me to avoid a lot of pitfalls in life. Yeah. 
Testament when John is going to be born and all this kind of thing. Uh, you, you don't even see the Baptist. His name is John. That's what his mama said. His name is John. The angel said his name should be John. Daddy couldn't talk. He got him a tablet. Yeah. 
little uh, affections in the life I was born kind of different. And I don't mean to hang out with homosexuality, but that's the thing, this thing is getting out of hand. And we as the people of God have got to stand up, not because we're insensitive to people. I had a guy, I had a guy question me one time in, in a meeting. He said, now you, you still heard about homosexuality? What are you going to tell me right now? I was born like this. I was born like this. What do I do now? And he thought he had me, but I already knew what he needed to do. I said, you need to be born again.
You looked at over angle on we should show sure, our tree. So preacher got on the bike, little boy turned his alarm on and little boy got on that bike and he started riding off and he's got a little tune going, he's so happy, he's got a brand new bike, preacher go low and he's he's trying to get that thing started and, and it ain't even acting like it wanna crank and he he's getting hot, he's sweating, he's the boy get away, he said, Hey, he said, hey, wait, come back, come back. The boy made you turn him all the way back. He's still pulling on that thing. He ain't even trying to start. He ain't trying to act like he's starting. He gets there. He says, son, he's all up there. He says, son, is there a trick to start this moment? Uh, the boy looked at him. He said, yeah, sir, I'll tell you what, man. If you want to start that old moment, okay. you got to cuss at it. Come on, 
question. Why not tonight? You say, well, I'm going to wait till Sunday. I'm going to wait till next month. I'm going to go back home and straighten some things out. You can't do it without the Lord. Man. You need him to help you. Yes, sir. I don't care what situation you're in. You need to start by giving everything over to him, and he will guide you. Yeah. He will lead you. He will be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your back. Yeah. Yeah. And you need him. You need him. You need him. You need him right now. Yeah. I'd be afraid to leave tonight without Jesus on my side. Amen. And he'll come, but you cannot have him unless you surrender to him. And so I'm here for you. You mean to tell me you're going to walk out of here tonight? You're going to leave this building, go back home, try to maintain a marriage without Jesus? Try to transact business tomorrow without Jesus. Yeah. Try to raise children without Jesus. Yeah. You mean to tell me you're going to take a chance and go to sleep tonight, closing your eyes and trusting that he'll wake you up in the morning and you have not given him your all in all. What a fool someone would have to be Amen. to go out of this place Amen. tonight let whatever it is hinder you from giving your life to Christ. Amen. This song says, oh, why not tonight? Amen. And I want to know, why not? What's hindering me? Is it stolen? Has the devil taken up residence? You, you feel like you're inadequate? Jesus can make you better. He can make you a better husband, make you a better wife, better child, better father, a better mother, he can make you better. Amen. We're proud that you'll come tonight. Thank you for the three, but I believe there are others in this audience, and we'll sing another verse or two, and we're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. We do everything else we want to do. We, we go to these football games and sit four and five hours. We go to these graduations and six, six and seven hours, and they call everybody name. Your child got the name with the dirt that's the last See that movie Titanic? That's the longest, boringest movie I've ever seen. And you sat right there. Some of you get on Facebook and you stay all day long. Mm -hmm. uh, we do what we want to do. But tonight we are looking for somebody, sincere somebody that's honest, that's willing to give their life to Christ and not let anything hinder them. The preacher told me all this week everything is ready. Clothes are ready, sanitized. You have to worry about anything crawling all on you. We're ready for you to come tonight. The baptizer is ready. Yes. The preacher here is ready. The members are ready. Heaven is ready. Yes. The angels are waiting, restlessly waiting to see if you're going to come down the aisle. Bible says angels rejoice. The one that turns away from sin, the 99 just that need no repentance. So we're praying in the night. Man. We believe there may be some others. And we're going to sing another verse or two. And we're waiting for you. If you want me to come walk with you, raise your hand. I'll come where you are. I'll walk down the aisle. I've done it before. I'll do it again. We want you to be saved tonight. More than anything, God wants you to be saved. Come to him right now as we sing. To
the church say amen. 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 We thank God tonight for this marvelous message. And heaven is rejoicing tonight because three precious souls have come.